Coach Krzyzewski picked him to play on the World University team. I coached high school basketball against Mitch when Mitch, I was a first year coach when, when Mitch was a, a senior in high school. And, I never would have envisioned him being an, an NBA All-Star MVP. I mean, he was just another guy in Florida. He wasn't a big name recruit. He wasn't an All-State guy. I think Mitch caught people by surprise with how athletic he was, with how strong he was, with how good a player he was. But it didn't really take long for people to say, this is, this is a special player. When he arrived, the headliner of the team was Norris Coleman, the Sarge, a nickname by the student body. So Norris was kind of the guy that I think people thought would be the leader of the team. And Mitch, because he was a junior college transfer, only had two years. And his first year, Norris Coleman was on that team. And so it was also the first year of Lon Kruger. So he's trying to blend all these personalities together. Mitch was uh, just became the, the, you know, the confident all-around player. Man. Very tough body, score in the paint, score from three-point range, rebound the basketball. But again, just competed like crazy, kind of a bull uh, type mentality that just got, just got the job done. Mitch just turned out to be another Oscar Robertson because he was able to penetrate and then back away from the defense and shoot the, the one hand uh, jump shot. And uh, he was just tenacious with that. We go through the first year and he has a really good junior year. And we get the NCAA tournament, and he scores 35 against Georgia and helps us win that game. And I still think there was part of him that, you know, I'm, I'm a good player, but I don't think he ever really thought of himself as an elite player. And then Coach Krzyzewski picked him to play on the World University team. And he went down there, and, and he would call Coach Kruger every once in a while. Coach Krzyzewski would and say, you know, whether it was in the trials or whatever, and saying, no, your guy is really good. And then he'd say, you know, like, when it was all said and done, he goes, you know, he's the best we had here. He's, he's special. And he came back with a little different swagger. You know, he had seen the guys that were, I think at one time, I mean, there, there were his peers, but I think people had, had put above him. And he realized that he was every bit as good. He just loved to play. I mean, that was the thing. That was, I think, what made that group pretty special. He had a bunch of guys that just loved to play. And we played every night, you know, in the summers. For, for hours, and you couldn't get Mitch out of there, you couldn't get his roommate Charles Budso out of there, Will, Will Scott loved to play, uh, you know, heated games, intense games, guys got along, but Mitch, Mitch was, you know, from the second he got on campus was, was the, the leader, the rock of the team, not necessarily the vocal leader, but he was a guy that we knew, you know, he was the man, no question about it. The one game that told me he could play on the next level was when K-State played over at KU in the senior year in 1988. It was a Saturday afternoon. And KU had a 55-game home court winning streak. And uh, un he had an unbelievable game, 35 points. K-State knocked, knocked off Kansas. Norman, I think we're down uh, 10 with a minute 20 to go. And, and Mitch you know, takes, takes the team on his shoulders and, and wills us to a win yeah, at Norman. It's hard to come back from 10 down on the road. Uh, in the last minute and a half. One thing I remember about Mitch was I was done playing and it's the first two or three weeks of school and the guys are in conditioning and they're playing. And I go to the rec center one night, there in one of the far courts is, is Mitch. And he's over there shooting baskets all by himself. And I've been shooting at bad. He goes, I got to work on my jumper. And that happened all the time with Mitch. Mitch deserves everything. You know, it's the old cliche, good things happen to those who work hard. Mitch worked hard. As good a player as he was, he's a better kid. He had such charisma. You know, he always had a smile on his face. He loved playing. I mean, when he came to play, he loved it. And he'd work at it, and he was, like I said, so coachable. And his teammates had such respect for him because of all those things, because of the way he treated them, because of the way he loved the game, the way he worked at the game. I think it's hard to overestimate the impact he had at that point in time on, on K-State basketball. He's been a, a great example of what K-State basketball should be all about. You know, uh, guys that, that, you know, earn their stripes, guys that walk in and, and earn their way. And, and, and because of that work ethic, because of that determination, they, they go in and, and pursue a professional career and, and then excel.
you know, at that level. And that's exactly what he did. I mean, we're talking about one of the better players, not just at K-State, but in the NBA. For the fifth pick in the draft, the Golden State Warriors select Mitch Richmond of Kansas State. Oh, that's a good one. Mitch Richmond, one of Larry Connolly's favorite players in this draft, 6'5", 225 pounds, fourth leading scorer in the Big Eight on a ball control team, by the way. He was a second team All-American. Played two years at Moberly Community College. He was a JUCO All-American. And from Kansas State comes Mitch Richmond. And Larry, tell us why you like this young man so much. Bob, the thing I like about him is that he does everything very well. He's a fierce competitor. He likes to get the basketball in clutch situations. He plays well in the big games. A lot of people thought that maybe uh, you'd go a little bit later in the first round. Was it a surprise you're going to Golden State? Oh, yes, it is a big surprise. I thought they will go with the uh, big rebound, the big shot blocker, but it's a surprise. Two of the first five picks are from the Big 8 Conference. Says a lot for the Big 8. Yes, it is. It shows that we have great talent in the Big 8, too. And our halftime guest, Mitch Richmond, Kansas State, 6'5", 215, a man that's destined to be Rookie of the Year. Don Nelson, corners in 48 seconds. Pass is too high, but nice catch by Sampson anyway. Baseline to Richmond. His 20-foot jumper in the way. That's good. Green, 16 better by Green, no get the rebound to Larry Smith, his specialty. The mid to Richmond. It's a four on two. Richmond down the middle. Richmond in deep. Nice fake score. Though, but he did, uh, always hurts it when he really takes off on a long yeah. run. Sampson's got the ball. Sampson holds it up against Kareem and gives out to Richmond. Richmond dribbles around. Worthy underneath score. See why we voted for him for rookie of the year? He got six points. 22 to 14, the ball to Kareem. Swing left, shoot right, and there's a 12-footer. Nobody within rebounding position. 22-14, and we go the other way. Garland gives the ball to Richmond. 20-foot jumper, that's good. Comes up with his eighth point. He's made four out of six shots. Now we've got the stutter step drive by Richmond. Comes in to meet. 360 turn, score! Half. Garland against Cooper, who just re-entered the game. Now Garland out in front to Richmond. Richmond dribble drive, shows it up underneath. No good, but 10 points. 17 by Mullen. 48.5. Carl Malone and Thurl Bailey have used only score. Anybody got in his way that time, they were flat. Now it's 62 to 52. One minute to play in the period. Here's Richmond dribbling in deep. He puts it up. It was Otis out of the backcourt. They're running the legs off the Lakers. In low to Teagle. Turn around 16 footer. No. Rebound. Richmond away from Magic. Score. 
Biggest lead of the game. Byron. Here's the ball out of Richard Richmond. Richmond with five seconds left on the game clock. Shoot the 22 footer. That's good. The half has two seconds remaining. 68 52. And if this isn't one of life's little embarrassing moments for the Lakers, nothing ever will be. They have been outplayed so badly in the last half last night and worse in the first half tonight. And they've got a lot of regrouping to do in the last... You always let your play work for you. You don't say a lot of things. You show on the floor what you can do. Oh, well, I, I'm not one of those persons that goes out and... and and, and talk on the floor. I just go out and, and, and try to do the best I can, and I, I don't argue. I don't think. Uh, I just go out and do the best job I can. And the best job that he can is going to get him Rookie of the Year honors, and boy, that is an honor. Believe me, he was the fifth player picked in the draft last June, and one day, probably next year, we'll start calling him Superstar, Bam Bam, Smooth, The Rock. I hope so. I hope so, too. Thank <laughs> you very right. much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more. He shut him down just once. He gets a screen by Minute Bowl. Garland doesn't want to shoot it. Brings the ball to Richmond. Drives, stop. 15-footer has to bank in, and he banked it. He did not try to bank any timeout. Are they going to take one? Garland's in the front court. They don't take a timeout. Ten seconds left. Now the ball to Richmond. Dribble drive. Beats Cooper and Cooper fouled. And on the dribble, that line. Free throws are square up his shoulders and use that stroke. Yeah, they need his offense badly. They'll get it. 92 to 90. Here's Richmond down the middle. Richmond in deep. Throws up an eight-footer and in it goes. Oh. Hey, Mitch Richmond is really taking over. He scored their last seven points, and uh, one of those is one falling down. He stayed. And we got a ball game as Worthy will come back in. Now the ball over to Richmond. Drive the base in deep. Bank of eight is on the way. Good again. Foul. <laughs> The foul is called. It's two incredible baskets back to back. And I tell you, he's the one that initiated that conduct that time. Smart play by Mitch Richmond. Went baseline. And uh, Richmond have 61. Now the ball over to Richmond. Richmond against Byron. Richmond fakes. Comes the dribble. Down the middle. In the air. Throws up a five-footer. Bounces around. It falls in. 118-114. Only 49 seconds left to play. Here's the free throw by Richmond, that's good. Richmond gets his 31st point. Richmond on the line, 80 all the well with a slight advantage, but he can't control the tap, and there's Tolbert. With a minute 50 in the first quarter, Warriors lead it by two. It's Richmond, makes and Rod Strickland finally hits his first point. Missed his first three free throw attempts. Brakowski delayed Hardaway. They're down to four seconds. A running three by Richmond hits the mark. This is how the quarter ends. That's a good 30 feet out for Richmond. After one, 30. Strickland getting the basket. Uh, but then sometimes there have been some strange plays. <laughs> Boom. Like this. 4.59 in the first half. Nolan can't shoot it over Robinson. Didn't even try. He helps solidify things early. And then uh, you don't need him as much for that role. You get a player who's got more talent and longer career. Really an excellent point. The rebound, Mullen blocked by Cummings, right back into Mullen's hands. And through the double team to Marshallonis. Here's Richmond. That may be number three. In the first meeting, Warriors surprisingly do something else. And he's not been shooting well, but certainly been hitting the boards. Yeah, only 4-13. Richmond slipping free on the back door. He's got 15. Six of those eight games not coincidentally. Colbert on the pick and roll. Well done and jam inside. And that's a real good sign from the top of the key. Alley oop. Richmond after Anderson had lost his footing. The alley oop to Richmond again. This was set up by Willie Anderson. Isolate Cummings on that right low block. And again, he can't turn it into points. Colbert delayed in the backcourt. Mullen whips it underneath the Richmond. I pulled it. Speed into the hands of Higgins that time. Two on one break. Hard away to Richmond. Shot. 
No, he was rarely in when they were taken. Here's a three. three. Isn't there any way to get it back? Alley oop, Mitch Richmond. Well, he likes the Tickens answered with four straight, and then the alley oop to Richmond, and now they go for a six point gap, and it's Richmond again. Out there, but uh, didn't really get there quickly enough. Timeout two, and his first seem to be content to trade buckets, which is the Warriors game. They got it going so well offensively that it seemed to take away too much from their defensive intensity. Mullen for the club record. There it is. Three pointer number six. And then Richmond almost with a steal. Cap, 10 on the shot clock, a minute gone by in the first. Lister, good recovery down low. Here's Hardaway. He shovels it off to Richmond. Four on the shot clock, and Richmond slicing through. Nine to four, Detroit. Mullen with Dumars. Now here's Mitch Richmond. Didn't take the leaner, dished it off. Lister got it back to Richmond in a crowd. He may go with the lightning bolts before the season is over. Tom Colbert would strike me as the kind of guy that would wear them with lightning bolts. Here's Richmond. What an explosion! Yeah, what a hole! As the Pistons try to snap the three-game losing streak. Nelly calling out an illegal defense, but no call by the officials. Riggs on the jump shot. Well, he's 34 in his 12th year. He's in a terrible slump right now. Richmond. And it goes! Fouled by Rodman. For him, makes him fade away. You see the good recovery by Dennis. And look at that reaction. To the fifth. Half seconds. Pritchard in for Hardaway. James Edwards who shoots like a gun at 7 1. Here's Pritchard. Guns it down to Richmond. Picked up by Sally. Spin move. Beautiful. Plus the foul. Well, there's a this is a real finesse move. And what control. And then he goes to the left. Edwards picks up the foul. His second finesse move by Mitch Richmond. Here's the double up on Dumars. The help out by Johnson. Batted away by Richmond. He's everywhere. Steve Johnson finally tracks it down. Richmond. The lob to Johnson. What a look by Richmond. Terrorizing the Warriors. That time he couldn't get it to go. Here's Hardaway. Blistering into the front court. Whips it over to Richmond. He blows by Vinnie Johnson and got it! Plus the foul, another spectacular move, but now the concern is for Richmond's back. Yeah, I think he's okay, and he might have gotten a little Charlie horse there, too. Right leg, watch it. I can't believe how he made this shot. There it is, the left leg, and off balance, and I mean, it just curls over the rim. That's quite an act of acrobatics. Here's 2.23 left in the half. Barcelona's looking to get going. Thought he was fouled. No call as Sally hits the deck. Richmond to steal on Dumars. He thought he was fouled. Hardaway for three. Here's Tim Hardaway. He'll march it down. Hardaway and Richmond to the backcourt with Lister. Mullen and Hill. Hill had six rebounds in the first quarter. And Hardaway. Little stutter step. Great feet inside. Lambert stopped by Hill. Taken away by the Warriors. Here comes Richmond to Hardaway. Hardaway stumbles into the front court. He stops and pumps. Only six points for Isaiah Thomas. Averaging 15 and a half. Now Richmond bumps into his man Dumars. Mullen for three. Got it. And counting in the third. It has been a dilly. Here's Tom Tolbert. The love. Alley oop time to Richmond. Eight on the shot clock. Richmond the fadeaway. Got it. It's Richmond. 21. A little bit. You still get two possessions for one theoretically almost stolen by Thomas again Richmond backs it on Dubars got it oh what a huge shot now Detroit can get the two for one didn't take enough time off Detroit can get two for one Warriors. Warriors. pretty quick shot by three 40 seconds and counting they're standing here at the Coliseum Arena they go to Aguirre Aguirre doesn't get the roll the put back by Rodman no Big rebound by Richmond, and they blow the whistle. It's on Dennis Rodman. What a clutch rebound by Mitch Richmond. Free yeah, he's a little upset he didn't get that shot down. Two critical free throws. 
And the Pistons call time. Sixers four, the Warriors two, courtesy of two field goals by Gilliam. Mitch Richmond. And rebounded by Tolbert. Tolbert was the sixth man at Boston. Nice spin move by Mitch Richmond. He goes left. 89% from three-point range. 37 for 94 before that one. Is 14. Quickie to Richmond. Good minutes. Warriors still down by seven. Biggest lead was 11 by the Sixers. For the Warriors, four. Pretty duck under move. Played in the shadows of Purvis Ellison at Louisville. Warriors down seven. Everybody played in the shadows of Ellison, didn't they? True. If you were on that team. Richmond looking to get on track with the outside shot. Now he's four for ten. Tonight, good rebound by Lister. A fresh 24 for Richmond. Didn't need much an hour. 76ers by eight. 79, 71. 86, 79, 76ers. Five minutes to go on the third. Steal by Richmond behind the back to Hardaway. What a pass. Hardaway lays it up and in. Same way. Here's Armand Gilliam. Gilliam from outside, he has 16. 90 to 83, 76ers, Richmond! Oh, it's a three! Anderson or Hersey Hawkins. Six point ball game, 92 86, Philly. Richmond using his muscle. He does it again. Yes, yeah, played very consistently. And he sinks them both to give the Warriors their biggest lead. Five points, 99 94. And a steal by Richmond. Less than a minute to go in the third. Here's Higgins. Got it! And they outscored Philadelphia 46-31 in the third. And right away, points earlier. And now they're up by nine with a big lead of 11. Four on the shot clock. Richmond has it rejected. And a foul called by Nolan Fox. 84%. All those points from the floor. He wrote. It's astounding. Yeah. And, and you got to contain him. Hardaway going all the way. Throws up a wild one. The Richmond got it back with help from Hill. Gets the roll. But maybe a half a second late. All right. Golden State by two. 350 remaining. Mitch Richmond. Right on. Set on the timer. Richmond, who has been red hot. Five on the shot clock. Gets around Anderson. Puts it up. No. But the foul. He's got a small forward's body. Folks, these are not fixed games. They do come down like this. I would agree with you. Oh, Anderson going for the gamble. That frees up Richmond. Let's see if Richmond goes away. Rod Higgins. Thread of the needle to Richmond. He does it again. 33. He ties his season high. Minute 40 left in 0-2. And it's difficult to imagine fans leaving. Would that happen at Golden State? No. Richmond. Oh, what a shot. What a shot in traffic. And a new season high for Mitch Richmond. Another guard position from Kansas State in his third year. Then in 6'5", number 23, Mitch Richmond. Comes out and hits this first one. Doesn't surprise me, though. So he gets things going here. Tim Hardaway up high with Rod Strickland. Off the penetration, the disc to Richmond. Good time. Richmond. Richmond averaging 22 and a half on 50% shooting in the series. Sitting with it, it's got to be uncomfortable. 10 6, San Antonio. 8.28 to go in the first. Off the cut, here's Richmond. He's got an opening. And he also had Robinson. He didn't even worry about him. He took it right to the big man and took him underneath the basket and then gave him a little daylight to shoot it. First quarter. Here's Hardaway. Great move on Strickland. The penetration dish to Richmond. Twice tonight, penetration by Hardaway. Richmond just steps back. Here comes Ellie. On the fly, on the wing. Richmond stops and pops it. Trust the foul. Richmond off to a big start. Mitch Richmond, six for six from the line in the series. He now has nine points. Richmond is four for five from the field. He looked good in game two. Here's Steele, here comes Richmond. 
Finds a little opening that he's met by Cummings. Part away for three. Oh, what a shot from the angle. And yet under control. That has to be music to Peterson's ears after what he heard in San Antonio. Richmond. Still plenty of time on the shot clock, 13. Richmond, wide open for three. They respect Hardaway at the low block, overpowering Strickland. Presti goes back in. Well, that broke a streak of 10 in a row from the field for Golden State. The rebound to Mullen. Here comes Hardaway on the wing to Richmond. The pull up. Got it. He's automatic tonight. Is he hot? 14 points for Mitch Richmond. He's six for seven from the field. We're talking over nine minutes. Yet the Warriors are able to maintain the lead. 60-53, 229 to go in the half. Here is Richmond with Cummings. Richmond going one-on-one. -on -one. Got it. He knew it. He knew he hadn't scored. His ears were burning. He heard you. 62-53 Warriors. 16 points for Mitch Richmond. And the league's best scoring guard, Michael Jordan, says Richmond is the one player whose game most resembles his own. How does Richmond feel about that comparison? I think it's uh, just a determination. Uh, when you go out on the floor, you know, you come ready to play and you don't back down with anyone. I think that's what me and uh, Michael... And then Hardaway, 12 of those 20 came in the first quarter. Mitch Richmond had 16 points. And, and the Warriors certainly have to get Richmond and Hardaway back on the score sheet. If they have any notion of winning this ball game, they were each held scoreless in the third quarter. With a minute gone by in the fourth. Steve Albert, Jim Barnett, Steve Fisiok at the Coliseum Arena, 100th consecutive sellout. Here's Ellie, back to Richmond, who looks to get on track. Richmond, the double clutch. Got it! Oh, that's his first field goal. It must feel like an eternity for him. 18 points for Richmond, his first points of the second half. Amazing intensity. Here's Hardaway. Tom Colbert gives it off to Richmond. The bomb right there. And the Warriors reload. And they said he couldn't jump, but how about the timing? It must be the black shoes. Ellie, one on one with Robinson. Robinson got a piece. Ellie got it back. Eight on the shot clock for it. But a long pole. But what a shot by Richmond. Tremendous noise level by the 15,025. Colbert thought about it, then he saw Robinson. Here's the drive. Nowhere to go. Richmond for three. After a wacky third quarter, they also about rebound of the Warriors, the uh, Spurs, 34-30. Richmond. Back to Colbert. Oh, is he on fire? Oh, it's coming down to eight. Richmond. Oh, what a big shot. You're talking about a clutch shot. Mitch Richmond. by 10. Richmond. That was just inside the line. Because it prevents him from getting in the lane and getting all these other players involved. So Timmy Hardaway is going to have to look for penetration here as well as the outside shot. Another one for Richmond. Now Worthy in the paint. Not this time. Rebound Richmond. What a rebounder he is. Kansas State. The drive. Peterson jams it in. Richmond to Peterson two times in a row. The open man. Richmond in the paint. Got a double hard away. Kicks it out in the corner. Chris Mullen, who's only two out of six tonight for the floor, checks back in. Richmond the three. Perkins. Eldon Kemp. Here's your point center. Tom Tolbert running the show now against Perkins. Richmond spins right, turns left. And doesn't Teagle. mean anyway. Teagle with eight points. 
Lakers build that seven-point lead. Now back to yeah. his lower body to try to bump him out of the post. He's so strong. Look where he's trying to post up. He comes away with a steal ahead of the field of Richmond. Oh, that, that might Lakers have built that seven-point lead. Richmond is posted against Teagle down low. Richmond very strong. Spins in, scoop shot. 108-103, L.A. Magic loses it. Richmond to Mullen. You're right. you got to defend him long and prevent that long pass. Marshall Ola sees an open floor. He'll take it right to the hoop. Big block by Perkins. Richmond, the turnaround jumper. It goes. Outside in, and the ball comes from the outside first. Mitch Richmond. Gets in. When all else has failed for, for the Warriors, Mitch Richmond has been a steadying factor through the year, and he's using his power. Lakers with the ball, 13 all. Five minutes to go in the opening quarter. Byron Scott knocked away. Two on two. It's Hardaway to Ellie to Richmond. Penalty opportunity yet for Golden State. Mitch Richmond. For his sixth, and the Lakers build a seven point lead that matches their biggest of the game. When uh, Nelson called him, said Milwaukee said, I'd like you to be my assistant coach. Shot clock under 10. Marcellonis was guarding Perkins, another mismatch, but unable to hit the left hander Perkins. It's Richmond. Whenever they've been in trouble, they've come back to Richmond. He's been the guy that's been the steadying force. Six rebounds for Byron Scott. Mullen. Knocked away and saved by Tolbert. Richmond. Scott fouls him. The basket is good. Now, the only way that Mullen is going to get out of this funk is to shoot the ball. And again, it is Richmond that gets Had one in the series. Campbell. In for Debots, misses. Six foot Tim Hardaway with a pass to Mullen. The Richmond is by Coach uh, Nelson. So has been solid in doing his job with seven and six, have got nothing. Five zip a year ago. In the backcourt, Mitch Richmond, Kansas State. Six five, two sixteen, six years in the league, third year with this club. At guarded by Tisdale. Lottie wants to back in on a shorter man. He does back in. He throws the ball away. Terrible pass. The foul in the back three five in a game this year. Now it's two to nothing. The Lakers are in front. They're in a pick and roll. They keep it and bring it out in front. Three pointer by Richmond. That's in there. Richmond. That's 101 he's made this year. 101. That's one of the things. We got a reprieve. Jim couldn't be here. Six and a half to play. And the ball given off to Richmond. 15 footer is good. Richmond knocked it home. And Richmond's got again by nine. They've never led by more than that. It's 23 to 14. And coming with the ball in the front court. Now we got the little guy Webb. Webb feeds it over the far side line. Three-pointer on the way by Richmond. Good again. They gave him three. Couldn't tell if his toe was up. And it's now 27 to 23, the Lakers. They've scored four in a row. With the ball over there is Andre Spencer. The Webb dribbling through traffic. Plays it the baseline. Mitch Richmond drills a 20-footer. Beautiful shot. No wonder he's an all-star. He's got 10 points. He has the lead. The opponent has the ball. Wilson Tibbet bounced the ball in low to Richmond. Richmond guarded by Smith. That's a tough guarding assignment. Richmond drives in deep, comes in the for that strength, puts it up and scores, just strength. For Smith, a great guard, here's the ball getting loose, but it rolls over here where Wilson picks it up, nobody knew it was loose. Now the ball's given to Brown. Brown dribbles, takes it over to Richmond, he'll shoot the 20 footer again and drill it again. He is a beautiful shot maker, that's 14 points for him. Against Van Echo, double team by Vladi, that leaves Polonese open. Now the little guy, Street, goes, he didn't carry it, not Street, but West, didn't carry it over, gets to Richmond, he hits a three. Richmond knocked it home, and Richmond continues to sparkle, making his third and five tries. Again, though, the guy that's helping out is leaving Mitch Richmond. Don't help out.
with if you're guarding Mitch Richmond. 57 to 49, dribble drive and next run and he's swatted away by Richmond. What a great defensive play for the guy that just made the three. I think in the last minute and seven seconds, let's see what they can do this time defensively. Here's the ball right over to Richmond. Richmond's destroyed the Lakers tonight. He and Sud. Richmond fires for two. He's on the line and he hits it. Richmond, little guy Webb runs into Ramis. No harm, no foul. They bounce off each other. Richmond drives around Christie. Comes in deep. Goes under their arm. Fingers it up and in. Nice play by Richmond. He's got 21. Well, the last play by Mitch Richmond was really nice. He has a double team. He goes under the arm of Kurt Rambis. Little finger roll of his own. Mitch Richmond, one on James Worthy. Yeah. Both Freeburg, they have made six unanswered points. Now the ball out of pressure, Randy Brown. Randy Brown, yo yo and Gives the ball over here to the guy that's killed him tonight. Richmond dribble on Christie, beats him. at free throw time. Two shots. Christie fouled him 15, 16 feet from the basket. Going to end the third quarter, apparently, with 70 points. And the Kings are going to have Amy Joe coming to Richmond. It's a lane violation. Free play, lots of time. Oh, how they wish they had Magic back on the bench, but Billy Burke will fill in for him with the assistance of Larry Drew. Baseline, nobody got him with him. 17 quarter goal. He was alone as I am. Oh, well, wow. he's got 13 rebounds again tonight. And Brown with the ball. Bounds in low to Richmond. He turns. He beats his man. He puts it up. It's goaltending, I think. Yeah, goaltending on Eldon. Well, the, the official scores. Nobody knows where it came from. They've given it a block shot for the foul. Richmond to the line for one reason. The free throw is good. Nick, now they do have their best. Bud Webb's got it. Brings it in. And they get it to Tisdale. Tisdale. Oh, no three point. Point. Three. Richmond's along. Throws it. Three point. That three point basket really makes a difference in my The Angels try to remain unbeaten. And race car driver Robbie Gordon makes a pit stop in the skybox. Richmond drive. Pollen. Another make a Richmond. Going to the basket. A six point. Uh, excuse me. A five point lead. It'll be three when he gets through. It's because he's Richmond 35 points. Richmond, 30. Richmond around the Polony screen. Silk out of and it worked out well that way, but the Magic didn't get the get the, the shot in. Inbound gets the baseline, pinned beautifully by Grant. Horace comes away, not this time, and rebound to Richmond. Blind feed ahead to Polony, and he'll dunk it home. Now the Sacramento team pushes it up the floor. They don't do this often. Webb cut off by Bowie. Richmond sets his feet for three and got it. Too many in the corner. Williams cut off. Richmond now. Backs away from Nick. Oh, oh heartbreaker. 21-18 oh, your score. Nick bodies up. Stripped by Richmond. There's the great dude we told you about. Nick, Nick Anderson coming into this ball game. 15 for 33. Come behind the three-point line. Nick couldn't stop Richmond. And we're down to Sacramento. We're under two minutes to play. Mitch Richmond sets and fires the three. We're in existence. Wouldn't it be fun idea. to see Dave Corzine and Michael Ansley, Terry Catledge, all those guys if they're around? Watch Nick Anderson here play him about as well as you can play him, I guess. And still he knocks this shot down, has to shoot it way high out of your screen there, and it comes back. Rebound inside. They missed Dwayne Coswell. There's no doubt about that. Coswell, a good shot blocker, young player. Penny Hardaway draws. We'll have a bump and a bruise on that thing in a couple hours, I guarantee you. 07, 2.2 left. Thompson's going to heave it up and almost hit it at the. This seven year veteran was the highest scoring guard in the NBA last season. An all star for the third time from the Sacramento Kings, Mitch Richmond. The West leads by one. We're down to 10 seconds to go in this first quarter. Mitch Richmond fires. Yes. Out of three seconds in the quarter. The West by three. You see him right there, but that's prime time. That's not hot dog. That's oh, prime time. Oh, I see. It's <laughs> all point of view, isn't it, Steve? <laughs> Mitch Richmond with four points. And the West leading 39 to 30. And back comes Peyton. Leads a four on two. Peyton takes all the way. Rebounded by Richmond. And Reggie Miller had to feel like Custer's last stand there as nobody for the East got back on defense with the exception of Finn Baker. Shrimp. Oh. Oh. Tumbo oh. kept it alive, as oh. does Richmond. And the West has opened up a 14 
point lead. That was the most patient offensive sequence we have seen. The West swinging the ball, looking for a good shot. Played by Pippen. Malone. Oh, Malone. Is somewhat embarrassed, although he's, he's excited, but he, he understands that uh, as Mitch Richmond is able to hit the three, so Richmond has 11, and the West is up 84-71. Grant says, though, he understands. 439 remaining in the third quarter. Richmond, that's two-point range. So Richmond with a three and a two, and the West is up by 13. Once again, the good decision-making of Gary Payton. 11-point West lead. Ned left Shrek, who just checked in, getting it over to Mitch Richmond. And he has been on fire. Richmond is now 7 of 9 for the field. He has 15 points. Stolen by Robinson. Richmond pulls up for three. Yes. Oh, Mitch Richmond. Eight of ten from the field. He has 18 points, and he is the high man. Playing in Sacramento, all the players in the league know how great of a player you are. But this is your opportunity with this national audience to show all your stuff, and you've been doing just that. Well, I've been just having a great week, and, uh, you know, my shot felt, well, felt great early. And I, I think Gary Payton and uh, John Stockton have been setting me up for some good shots. I've been wide open. I've just been knocking them down. How about those Sacramento Kings, though? Nobody expected them to do anything. You've, got, you, you've turned it all around up there. Hey, well, we're playing great right now, and I think we got to get ready for the second half of the season because that's going to be the tough part well down in the standing but if they uh the houston rockets uh, get a chance to play the phoenix suns they feel that they can take that team out they match up extremely well and uh, they feel they can take them down now experience is the story in the east matt is it, is it going to matter against the orlando men a minute 40 to go in this fourth quarter payton for marley gets it back out for richmond who fires for three yes 23 points for Richmond, who was connected on 10 of 13 from the field. Hardaway for three. 10 of 13, 23 points, four rebounds, two assists. Sacramento's having a great year this year, and today you were the star of stars in a spectacular setting, the Valley of the Sun. Thank you, Phoenix, but especially congratulations to the all-star MVP, Mitch Richmond. Thank you. All right, Mitch, what's, uh, what does this kind of an award mean to you? It means a lot. Uh, you know, I just want to dedicate this to, to my great-grandmother, my grandmother who passed away the past two summers that couldn't have been here, couldn't be here to see me uh, play this game. And I just want to dedicate this to them uh, because they were my biggest fans. We talked earlier, you know, Sacramento, we don't see a lot back east, but now you have a national exposure like this. You come in and play a game like this. It's fantastic. Oh, it's great, man. It's just it's a great feeling, man. I, I don't know what to say, but, it's, you know, it, uh, Gary Payton was feeding me. I was making the shots, and uh, I didn't know what was happening right now. This, this is awesome. I don't know what to say. All right, congratulations. This year's MVP, Mitch Richmond. like a shortstop. Turnover apiece, Kings basketball, Richmond drives baseline, up fakes and loops a reverse runner with the left hand up and over. Sean Kemp away from the defense and then flared it up there. 4-2, back comes Richmond for three and bang, down it goes. Richmond wheeling and firing. So to the line comes Mitch Richmond to shoot the technical foul shot. He's an 86 percenter. It's nearly a foregone conclusion. It's batted out, grabbed by Edney across midcourt. He comes. Man, is he quick. Skips it to the trailing Richmond. Shakes right, cuts left, off balance. Scooper in the lane, draws iron, but rolls in. Got the foul, will go to the line. Gets the ball in the open court, push, pushes it up, gets, gets it to Mitch Richmond now. He catches the Sonics, not in good defensive position as a team able to to kind of thread the seams, get down the middle, get down the gut of the defense. Nice little underhand scoop and the foul. But they want to push it up the court to Sacramento Kings with Ty Zedney every time they can. Richmond's free throw up and in. Trip down the floor. 16-14, Kings take the lead. Let's see what they do here. Overplay by Richmond on Hawkins. Deflects it in the backcourt. Hersey going after the ball. Spins and inadvertently kicks it off the heel and out of bounds. 
It will be Sacramento King basketball. They will throw a lot of traps at you, and they jumped the Sonics that time for a turnover. Side hands to Marshallonis. Gallops down the left side, turns the corner on Irvin, swings it across the baseline to Grant. Out to Richmond, drives in, slinks between defenders. The rain man is there as the last line of defense, and goaltending is called on Kemp as he clearly got the ball at his apex. Richmond with 11 points. Get a nice hustle play by Sean Kemp, trying to get the block shot. Rich Mitch with the scoop, and it was just starting to come down. That's a good goal. Ford with Snow. Edney, high left, outside to Polonese, top of the key. To Richmond, three on the shot clock. Benny stands up, Richmond forces him into a double pump shot. He adjusts in midair and scores. Benny did everything he could. He threw the whole arsenal at him. And Mitch, the only the game of the year last year to lose the playoff spot. Denver won it. Richmond raised on tiptoes. The Sonic Mitch wanted a walk. Richmond then drives to the baseline, up fakes, drew the foul, and scores. Mitch Richmond with 15 points. The question is whether or not he did become airborne. It looked like he came awful close as he went for a pump fake. The jump shot drove the baseline. And it's one of the things that Mitch Richmond does extremely well. And he has now become the all-time leading scorer in Sacramento Kings history. And he will throw the basketball over to the bench, and that will go in the trophy case. The new career scoring leader in the Sacramento era here in the capital city of California. And now Mitch tells the crowd to shut up. I got to shoot these free throws. I got work to do here. Richmond at 86 percent free throw shooter strokes at home and he has 16 points. All right. All by himself and then Hersey's hot tonight. And he hands off to Richmond. Drives into the lane. Off balance. Banker up and in from Mitch Richmond. He was sent off balance. He managed to adjust and laid it in to the mid court and ending. Tyus Edney, left hand side of the lane, skips, stops, finds Richmond out of the corner, makes a three. Bam. Nothing but net. Richmond with 21. That was clean. Balance trying to go for the left handed shot. Well, the Sonics did their homework on the Kings. They exploited the weaknesses of the Kings. Richmond with three. Richmond with 26 points. Friday night, the Kings had seven turnovers before they scored their first point, with 427 remaining in the first quarter. They were down nine to nothing. And Mitch Richmond ends all that. So every game has a different look, doesn't it? Yeah, Dick, good point, except he's going to have to call the plays because it's not happening. The problem is Mitch Richmond, when he isolates on the wing, they immediately run another guy out to the game the other night. Richmond, four for 13 in game one, had only four points in the first half. Hits the free throws. The angle that the Bob Delaney had it, he looked like he fouled him, but Jess Kersey could see it from another angle. Differential of about seven seconds. Oh, and yeah, Mitch Richmond, basket counts and a foul. Spectacular play by Mitch Richmond, who's headed for the dream team in Atlanta, a late selection. One that Sean Kemp didn't get, but what a nifty play this was. A reverse a dribble gets the basket between two people, and that's a hope. Watch the hope on this one. He threw it up looking for the foul, but got, got it in the air off the glass. Seven points now for Richmond, and he will try to bring the Kings to within one. Lionel Simmons is in the game, who lost a lot of playing time as the numbers have dropped considerably, but they need him in this series. Mitch Richmond, good ball rotation, and a two-point basket by Richmond, who has ten points. Askew and Mitch Richmond, a pair of number twos out there were by the way. Easy for you to say. I, <laughs> I think Gary St. Jean agrees with you. <laughs> You may be right. Baseline drive by Mitch Richmond. Richmond now with 12 points. Or you're going to take a wild shot. Richmond four for five from the free throw line tonight. 87 percent percent at 18 points in game one and 14 points thus far in this one. Coming in averaging 12.2 points a game has matched the season's average on the turnover. Three on one break. Edney to Richmond. Wide open in the corner and hits. And the Kings coming out strong. Trailing now by two. Polonies. Good outlet to Tyus Edney. Sonics get back defensively. And Mitch Richmond. Not Edney, but Richmond hits the three. And Richmond now with 19 points and his first from downtown. It was not a factor in game one when he had nine points and five turnovers. Edney with a good steal. Intercepting the pass intended for Hawkins. Here's Richmond pulling up, and Richmond has it. And the Kings come with a two, 21 points for Mitch Richmond. Three more than he scored in game one. A little bit of doubt, and if 
the Kings could keep doing this. They're going to make a single. Chuck, do you explain the single double? <laughs> that means he's coming off a double screen on one side and a single on the other. Off whatever play you have set. Here's Richmond, Grant setting a screen. Mitch Richmond with a fall away. Goes with one second remaining in the quarter. And they've got Billy Owens handling the ball, trying to get Richmond free on the baseline. Richmond drives the baseline by Brian Grant. Very tough defense for the Sonics. Richmond hits a three, and that's going to tie the game at 69 for Richmond. His second from downtown, he's got 29. Mitch Richmond will go to the free throw line tonight. Richmond, 7th of 8 from the strike, having a big game with 29. Good passing this time, and Richmond fires up a wild three. Barcelonis follows it up, tipped up, and in. Getting close to the two-minute mark, 82 to 76. Seven on the shot clock. Mitch Richmond under two minutes to go. And Barcelona misses it for the long rebound into the hands of Owens. Richmond for three. He's got it. And a big basket for Mitch Richmond. His third from downtown at 35 points in the game. But you've got to be very careful. You don't use too much clock. You won't get a shot at the end of the clock. You've got to attack. Mitch Richmond lays it in. Great feed for Barcelona. Well, we're a young team, but uh, now, you know, I'm going to go in the locker room and get everybody geared up and say, hey, it's, it's only one win. Uh, only one win. We got to go home, and we got to take care of business. So, you know, you know when our home court and our fans are going to be into it. You know, we, uh, Chuck talking about uh, adjustments in the game, maybe one of the biggest was you on Gary Payton. Ten points for Gary Payton, five personal fouls, and stayed in the game and really was not the factor he was in game one. Yeah, we wanted to put a bigger guy on him and uh, we were going to do that in the first game, but I was in foul trouble, so I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, I wasn't able to, to get on him. Uh, but the second game, uh, we came in early. I had only one foul uh, going through into to the second quarter and uh, we did a good job on it. You know, the amazing thing is that uh, everyone here in Seattle is going to start talking about the last three years when uh, this team with the best record in the last three years knocked out by the number eight seed Denver right. and then Los Angeles and now you know, you're 1-1 one, one with them going home for two. Well, it feels good, and I, I think that's what we want to do, you know, put a little scare at them. And we got the first game, and now, you know, they're back on their heels, and uh, we're going home, and uh, we're looking good. And uh, allowed himself to be distracted by the play that didn't go his way. Meanwhile, his man outran him to get two points. Mitch Richmond with Houston right. He's out for a while. He had a shoulder operation. He provides that toughness that's missing right now. Richmond off the nice fake. Trying to get a foul as well. Smooth. And they cut down on the turnovers. And Buck Williams, such a veteran. Terrific addition to this team. Richmond, nice move inside. A lot more penetration, and that certainly creates, makes the defense commit. Well, they're moving now. There's a whole different pace out there. Richmond with the fall, and that's a tough shot. In year out of UCLA, the backup point guard. Finds Richmond down to Causewell. Oakley almost had a steal. Causewell, the slam, and a foul. But when you try and... With the Miami Heat, Pat Riley the Heat, with their first game against the Knicks this year. Paul's been tanning himself in Florida all week. Richmond, there's a nice move. And it's a three-point lead for the Knicks. Ward now will set it up again. Houston from the left corner. Quick release. Johnson kept it alive, but right to Polonese. And the Kings will look to break. Mitch Richmond, three-pointer. And just like that, it's a four-point Nick lead. And deflects it, comes up with a steal. Richmond down low, Williamson, and an easy two. For Kings have been out-rebounded in their last five games. Richmond fires up, and he's fouled. Used to not have... about consistency his lowest scoring average is 21.9 as he in the field Knicks by five just over two minutes remaining third quarter the Kings certainly not backing down Mitch Richmond off the triple tough shot with a four-point lead final minute third quarter quick three Abduro with nine of his 17 here on the third spins away from Starks Polonies from the baseline and the Kings have their first lead since late in the first quarter. Shot clock turned off. Starks not 
knocked away from behind by Richmond. They have plenty of time ahead to Richmond. And it's a three-point Kings with offensive intensity picked up. Oakley deflects it, but Michael Smith holds on. Richmond with five on the shot clock. The floater off the dribble. Terrific. Darks, quick release on the jumper. Won't go. And rebound by Simmons. Kings will push it up. They can score points in a hurry. Starks bumps Richmond. Count it and one. And Richmond, who has had some wild fourth quarters again. Unbelievable how he can be rocked by the defender and still make the shot. Here you see Richmond get hit by John Starks and just continues on his business. He only had eight points at halftime. Network. And Richmond now has his 14,000th career point by hitting that second free throw. In his last two included in that the 22 and 20 performance against the Seattle Supersonics on January 2nd. Answers coming in at 8 and 22. They're 4 and 12 on the road. Sixth in the seven game row. He is number two among the active players behind A.C. Green who is about to overtake Ray on Wednesday when the 76ers finally come home from their wanderings. Five on four for the Kings as Augerson's left in the dust. Richmond runs into cage, count it, and a foul. Edney pushes it up, finds the man right there, Mitch Richmond. There's the bump and the continuation. Richmond will get the rest. Corliss Williamson. Richmond before any double can arrive. Cage continues to toil for Scott Williams, who banged his left knee as Richmond rises up for three and hits. Screen from Richmond. Two to shoot. Mitch. It'll count for two. And he makes one with seconds to go before the end of the third. You're watching 76. Smith has eight rebounds. That's his average. And Richmond just to... about Mitch Richmond for Sacramento and Derek Coleman for the Philadelphia 76. 103, 103, 110 to play here in the fourth. Richmond has Coleman, so off the dribble he goes to the left. Oh, two. my! Played by Mitch Richmond. Now, take a look at Derek Coleman calling for the double team. If you're calling for the double team from the from the top, you've got to force Mitch Richmond that way. Mitch realized that the baseline was open. Boom. Take it to the hoop. Probably got fouled. Take a look at Mitch taking it to the opposite side. And one right there as he got whacked. No call. Abdul Raul. There's Richmond, the money man against Stackhouse. Mitch moving, stops for the lead. Oh, my! Iso on the right side. Squares up on Jerry Stackhouse. One, two dribbles to stop. The pump fake, the fadeaway. All cotton for Mitch. On the entry, they were able to get the ball over to Mitch Richmond. What an isolation there, despite the fact that Michael Cage came over. Mitch Coleman, Iverson, Allen keeps it for the win! No! Obviously, when you talk about Sacramento, the first guy you discuss is Mitch Richmond. He is a great player. Mitch Richmond, uh, he's been an all-star for years out here with Golden State, now here with the Kings. 34 points a game, 6.8, 8.3. Wow, you'd think he was player of the week. He was. Oh, okay. <laughs> Richmond backs his way in, fading. Jump for his goal. Pass off, finds Luke. He puts it up and had a drop. Loose ball tipped away. Carlos Williamson on the run, finds Raul. Bounce pass over to Richmond, comes inside, hangs in there for Collins, and it's good. Sacramento, three of nine. Richmond comes around the screen and hit. They get a fresh shot clock. Raouf. Oh, jumper. that's an air ball. Mitch Richmond right there to put it back in. Second rebound to go with two assists and two points for Loop. Michael tries to go by. Richmond guards him very well. Comes a break for every three-pointer the Bulls make from here on out. Side, Richmond off. Beautiful move. 
Here's a uh, Rauf over his shoulder. Harp turned his head to go to the man, and then Richmond makes a spectacular basket. Out. MJ with a post up. Backs his way in. Richmond knocks it away. Brings it down, passes off, and the player lays it in. Here it is. There's the strip, and then he goes to get the ball and comes down. Michael's trying to get in front of him on a play, and then Grayer comes in, lays it down. Paint. Well, Steve calls that three a layup. Well, I mean, uh, for I them, know, a seven point run. Oh, okay. Richmond from 16. And it trails by three, and they have the ball. Richmond. Bumps goes into the corner. Jeff Grayer for a long just 20 seconds left, first half, as Michael goes down to post up again. Backs in, offensive foul, Michael Jerk. Tony to pick up a little offense in this uh, half, yes. Eight points now for Tony. Richmond for three. To Smith, right side, Abdul Raouf. Shot clock at 12. Richmond and MJ and will battle down low. Michael tried to get it. Good help from Tony. He still made it. Richmond goes baseline. Oh, right back up. He got a deep foul. Here it is now. Here he gets underneath. Nice thing. And he comes back out. Lays it in. One of the tightest you can get. You want as much support as you can get. Richmond in the lane. Hey. Andy Brown made a nice decision. Abdul Raouf with it on the baseline. Richmond over to set the screen. Richmond for three again. Richmond pops out. Quick move in the lane, puts it in. Abdul Raouf around. The 17 from the field. Minute 40 remains. Richmond for three hits. 28 for Richmond now. He has hit his first three shots. He has six quick points. Ties the game at eight. The Warriors putting some pressure on Sacramento. Richmond finds Brian Grant. Richmond has not yet shot the ball. He has seldom even touched it. St. Jean and their relationship basically deteriorated after that, evidently. Spencer the miss. Michael Smith is in the game. The animal rebounder. Polonese dunks. The Wolsey sequence was ended with a Mark Price steal. Was set up by Scott Morrell. He helped on Richmond. He recovered over on Williamson. And he created the passing angle for Mark Price to come in. Score in the league at almost 26 to 9. You got Mark Price 12 of 24. There's no stats, and you've got to be very impressed. The Warriors are only down by four. When you give a team 72%, but the Warriors did, like they did in Utah, have four offensive rebounds. Richmond steal. Bobby Hurley. Well, Williams didn't know it was coming, but he felt it and caught it late and gets Richmond. 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 He's also into the matchup. If he knows he's coming back right. Ooh, he took a shot of the chops. Mullen falls for emphasis there. Bobby Hurley. Uh, you know, much along the lines of Joe Smith. He just said, I don't care if I'm too short to play inside. I've played there my whole life. I'm going inside. And he's playing well. And he certainly will be the coach next year. Mitch Richmond gave him a ringing endorsement this past week. Saying he's done a great up six. Trying for the 31st victory of the year. Richmond a three run as Chris Mullen surprisingly watches. This seated off the baseline. Mark Mood was won the season series from the Warriors each of the last two years. If they win this game tonight, and now Richmond gives them a 98-96 lead at 345. Pharrell guarding Richmond with Mullen on the bench, or at least on the floor next to the bench. Richmond. Oh, man. They don't call him the rock. Unbelievable, that last sequence. Anytime you they just went, they just blasted the rest. It's set up. Five point game. Time for Mock Moo to drain one of his threes. Oh, man. Again, you see, that was more of a flop by Court of Williams to know. Ooh. 50 seconds to go. It's time for Mock Moo to go. Oh.
What a shot oh, from Richmond. My. And it goes. Goes up, floats through, reverse English, and in. Beautiful shot by Mitch. Ten points for Richmond and two of the toughest ones you'll ever see. Richmond for the victory. Got it. Mitch Richmond with two tenths of a second on the clock. It's his biggest shot of the season. 30 points for the Rock.